this is Richard Walker coming to you with some online uh, concepts about photography. Okay, now since uh, you have a Canon, I went to uh, Canon USA and uh, that's web.canon.jp slash images slash EOSD slash sample slash EOS1DX slash. That's where I am. And this is the page. Uh, on the right side is a movie which shows off the capacity of this $5,000 camera, uh, it, its ability to record video. I don't know how they did the sound, uh, but I'm assuming they had some extra equipment. These two images are not available. Uh, I have downloaded this image and let's see this image and this image. So the first thing I want to do is show you uh, tack sharp. Now first let's image 11 is a lion and it was shot at 100, 1 250th of a second. The aperture was f4 okay the IOS speed was 100 that gives you fine grain. The lens however is not a normal lens it's a 600 millimeter lens okay the white balance was set for daylight and let's see if I can find this up here on my it's one of the first ones I did oh there we go now this is at um, enlarged and what I want to do is show you that this animal was a considerable distance away and the whiskers on his nose are very very discernible. Here's the whole picture. Okay. Now let's go to this violin. Let's look at the light first. You see the right side of the screen is dark. The left side is got some highlights. Note on the violin reflective surface of the chin piece is blown out white. This point right here is most likely the optical focus point for this uh, image. Now I'm going to show you what I mean by optical focus versus depth of field. It's not an easy concept to grasp except that it shows up very uh, vividly and uh, here's the point. This portion of the photograph I can tell is where the optical focus was aimed. All the little knurling around this screw head is uh, visible. Even the braided wire on the violin is visible. The wood grain in the string stay or lift is visible. Now if I back out and go to the head or the neck you can see that these winding pins are fuzzy. You can see that the wires at the head are not in sharp focus. Now, let's go back. The bow is laying, how should I say, um, in such, let's, let's go down here and see if the bow is in. Yes, you can see the windings on the bow is, um, is quite sharp. You can see the threads in the uh, carpet or cloth, undercloth, background cloth, they're all in focus. So that means that this area, the lower left hand corner from the middle south, 
are in focus, whereas the upper right hand corner is not in focus. Now, optical focus is how you bring the image into focus on the sensor. The depth of field has to do with the aperture and the amount of light you're letting in based on the shutter. And I'll say the shutter and the aperture are inversely proportional. That is, the wider open the aperture, the shorter in duration the shutter can be open in order to properly expose the photograph. Okay, now let's go and see this picture and we're again notice that this object is pretty much in one plane so you don't have too much depth of field issue. The background is dark the fly, this is a hook, you see this is a fish hook and a fly, is lit from the bottom and you can see the reflection here and it's lit from the top. These are very very soft lights. Okay, You can see that there's no hard um, reflections or blowouts or anything. Everything is smooth. Actually you can see the reflection uh, right here, it looks like they might have uh, two uh, fluorescent lights there. Now that may not be the case, but that's a possibility. Now the background is fuzzed out. That's called bokeh, B-O-K-H. And it's the portion of the image that is out of focus. Okay. There's a portion that's out of focus that's in front of the image and a portion of the fo uh, photo that's out of focus on the back side of the image. But you want the image to be tack sharp. Let me show you these hairs. You can see way up at the top the fish hook and the feathers. Each individual feather. You can see little imperfections in the feathers. That is a high resolution and extremely tack sharp. So that's the end of this little lesson on focus and bokeh and depth of field. This is Richard saying happy shooting.